and we welcome Dr. Tim McKnight. And uh, I must say, Dr. McKnight, good to see you. And uh, I saw a picture of your injury, and it is ugly. Oh, <laughs> I'm kind of proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get sympathy votes. You have a, a large elbow right now. I do, and and now it's black and blue. Mm. So there was some bleeding. Now this is not caused by bursitis. Uh, well. The, the tear that I had, there was bleeding with the tear, and, and that's a result of the uh, tear sometimes. So, oh. uh, Bursitis is a, is a pretty common problem. We see it in primary care pretty frequently. Uh, we see it in the back of the elbow and the front of the knee. So the bursa is a sac that surrounds tendons that move against the bone. Uh, because the, otherwise there'd be a lot of friction. So this 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 fluid is a straw colored, like a lymphatic fluid. Just straw color. It's kind of, kind of. I'm not going to say oily, but it reduces friction so that the the tendon doesn't wear as it as it rubs against the bone. And so it's right on the bony part of the elbow in the back, and it's also in the in the kneecap in the front. So anytime you bend your knee, you're you're um, you're using those tendons and they're sliding on the kneecap. So that's why the bursa, that sac is there. And <clears throat> I was, you know, I, I, I had to look this up in the anatomy textbooks to understand it a little bit more than what my knowledge base had uh, helped me with. And I realized this morning <laughs> that the swelling that I have on my elbow goes all the way down almost to my wrist. So that bursa extends that far mm. as it's trying to uh, protect the tendons that are rubbing. And I so, assume the one in the leg then also is it, it also pretty goes lengthy. down pretty far as well. So um, what happens uh, like with carpet layers in particular, or anybody doing a lot of work on their knees, maybe it's people that do cement work. If you're on your knees, it's it's pressure right over the bone on those bony areas, and then kind of a rubbing or torquing action that is enough to irritate that sac to potentially make it tear and then you get this swelling. We often see this probably more common in the elbow. Mm -hmm. And if you just think about it, somebody that's uh, maybe uh, puts their arms on an el on their elbow uh, puts their elbows on a table and there's pressure and sometimes just you you move forward a little bit and your elbow kind of slides under your skin, uh, sometimes that's enough pressure to tear one of these. But most of the time when people come in with this, they don't know what they've done. They just know that they're they're swollen. It looks like a golf ball or sometimes a plump uh, that it's, it swells that much. So we'll often stick a needle in right under the skin and drain it. Sometimes it's a straw colored fluid, but most of the time there's blood in it because something is torn and it's bled. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we normally do then is uh, wrap it up with an ACE wrap and say, hey, you know, uh, protect this because it could come back again. Um, so, so the bursa sac has drained because it's torn and that's all the fluid that was in there. Yes, exactly. And now it's, now it's in the, uh, the, the tissue under mm -hmm. the skin. It's kind of outside of that sac. So the idea is in time, uh, that sac will heal again and reseal. And then when you make more fluid, it'll be okay. But sometimes it takes a long time. Um, and the first, the first thing you, you think about doing is, is draining it just so they're, the people, the individual is comfortable and they can, they can bend the knee or the elbow because when it's that swollen, it's hard to bend it. I, I couldn't bend my elbow past 90 degrees last night. And uh, I mentioned before we came on the air, <clears throat> I did this yesterday playing basketball. <laughs> and I actually, I, I, uh, I ran into the mat uh, on the wall and my, my elbow struck the mat at kind of an angle. And um, I, I kind of screamed, went down on my knees, and I walked out of the gym holding my elbow. And I'm sure the guys thought, what's wrong with you? You, you, you ran into a mat, and you yeah. know, you're, you're in this much pain. And I figured at the time, with the way I struck the mat, that that was probably what was going to happen. Um, but in, unless you're, you're bleeding or something's falling off, you don't walk off the court in my league. So I, uh, when the pain went away, I went back out and played and I was waiting. It was numb. There was a little bit of swelling through the day. It was, it was numb and a little sore and a little swelling. I went to the gym last night and did a leg workout and then I did a, a little exercise on the high bar and, um, I came home and holy cow. And after I sat down that thing, it just swelled up like an orange in there. So the activity uh, was keeping it from swelling I, for a I while. I think it was. And I don't know if I did something in the gym on the high bar <laughs> that might have, uh, you know, made it really start to bleed in there. I'm not sure. 
Um, but I, I uh, wrapped it with an ACE wrap, compressed it really good. I took some steroids. You can take either steroids or anti-inflammatories like Motrin. Um, but the idea is compression should help reduce the swelling. So this morning, the swelling is down about 30%, and now I can bend my arm to 90 degrees. I had to take the ACE wrap off in the shower, and it swelled back up again. Mm-hmm. So I've got it back on. And the pain is one thing. The swelling is one thing. But for me, it's the disappointment that I, I, I can't do anything for probably at least two weeks and, and maybe longer because I've got to get that swelling out and let that bursa sac heal. So I think the take-home message for listeners is if something like this happens, wrap it, use an anti-inflammatory for pain if, if your kidneys and your stomach can handle it. And don't be too, uh, keep it wrapped, be, keep it compressed. When I initially wrapped it, it was too tight and it was actually oh. starting to be painful. Uh, my wife actually wrapped it for me. And, and now, though, um, we got the right tension on it and it doesn't hurt. Um, it feels better. So it's going to take a while, just as it does for others. And uh, like I said, if I take the wrap off and I start bending it and I, I don't respect the fact that it's trying to heal, it's never going to heal. And sticking a needle in to drain this is the first thing you want to do because you can re- you, that swelling is immediately gone. It comes out pretty easily. Usually we get about um, two, one or two tablespoons of fluid out when we do that. Uh, but it can come back if you're not doing the right things. And, and the biggest risk is sticking a needle in an area that's that communicates with the uh, with the joint. Can ca- you can end up take um, causing an infection in the joint. And if that happens, that's a hospital admission with IV antibiotics and prop uh, and potentially a surgical procedure. So, as much as I was wanting a friend of mine who's an orthopedist to to drain this for me. You know, he kind of cautioned me that that may not be the best thing. You you take a problem that's swollen, a little painful, and now you make it a hospitalization and a surgical uh, intervention. So I'm just going to be patient with this. All right. Well, on the upside, that is your fork arm, so maybe you won't gain a lot of weight. The which arm? Fork. Oh, the fork. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was trying to do everything today with my left arm. It was a lot slower, uh, and that's my excuse for being a few minutes late. <laughs> so okay. my left, I'm not ambidextrous, so I've got to work on that. So would you call this a classic case of bursitis then? I mean, uh, the, in the problem, way it happened with the y- torque and yes, all that? Yes, yes. You know, you fall on the ground and you hit your elbows, and as the elbows hit, if they hit just directly down, you're going to bruise it or potentially fracture it. But when you hit it at an angle where it, it kind of rubs, that's the, that's the mechanism that causes these tears. Uh, but most of the people I see in the office don't know what happened. They just know that it's swollen. And again, those are people that maybe sit at desks a lot or they're doing something, maybe doing a home project and they're not paying attention. You know, maybe they're doing a plumbing job or they're on their hands and knees and they're not paying attention to what's the pressure on their their elbow and what they've done. They just know a day later it's it's got a big golf ball like swelling yeah. in the, on the elbow. And so Don't uh, drain it yourself. Get professional help. Don't don't drain it, yeah. Um and and just put a nice uh, ace wrap on it. Um kind of snug but not too snug. Ice? Uh ice is was also recommended. Okay. Uh that can reduce inflammation, potentially swelling. Um but the main thing is give it time and that's what most of us are impatient with. Oh, yeah. We don't want to give it time. Um, I've drained I've drained elbows on several patients the last year, two or three times. It, it it'll come back in a couple of weeks, and we got to do it again and again. After th- the third time, I say you need to see an orthopedist. But really, I've learned what they need to do is is keep it compressed and give it time. Give it a couple of weeks. It's a pain, but um, uh, if you if you give it time, it should heal itself. All right. And no permanent damage would be expected. Right. Well, uh, next week we'll try to find a topic that you don't have to be the guinea pig for. <laughs> well, yes, we've talked about this. We, we would love the listeners to give us some questions. True. Either uh, call in and ask or on the on your Facebook page so that we we talk about things that are pertinent to everybody yeah. else. You and I talk about things that we think about or that, that I see in the office, but um, there may be topics that the listeners would like a little bit more discussion on. We'd be happy to do we that. We did. We posted that a couple of weeks ago. Um, you can just enter a post. You can send us an email to info at com and say, hey, why don't you have Dr. McKnight talk about uh, 
you know, your topic, and uh, then we'll pass that along. Yeah, and you I, probably – we're going to give him research time, but then, right. but then we'll and go. I, I just – I really don't want another injury. You know, if, if they come up with ideas, i got to keep hurting myself so I can talk more about me. We can't have that. <laughs> we won't have you on very much longer after that. <laughs> right. All right. Well, thanks for being here You're today. Welcome. That welcome. is Dr. Tim McKnight as we talk with the doc this morning.